Hey Viking fans, welcome to another edition of Viking Spin. I'm your host Jason, and we're just going to do a roundup here of the first week of training camp. Uh, some up, some quick hitting updates to get through. Um, as you may know, the Vikings have made contract extensions with Everson Griffin and Xavier Rhodes. Uh, both of these guys are signed, I believe, through 2022. Um, so that pretty much ensures that Griffin will be a, a Viking for life and uh, Rhodes uh, signed a five-year contract extension. Um, so it's overall six years, 78 million. Um, so he is, he is here to uh, lock down uh, his side of the field here um, for uh, five years more uh, after his original contract expired at the end of this season. Uh, so that is great news. The core defenders will be together here for a long time. Uh, we've also got uh, some updates to go through. Um, some injury updates during the first week of camp. Some minor injuries um, had occurred with uh, Adam Thielen, uh, but he was uh, pretty much immediately right back into action on uh, the same day uh, that he had a uh, had to come off the field, so he's fine. He's practicing again. Um, Jarek McKinnon uh, was a spectator for a couple days. Uh, Got to see the report today, but uh, nothing nothing major there. Uh, Riley Reef um, has now missed four practices. Zimmer said it was a, a twinge, um, but we'll see what the prognosis is. It's been fairly quiet. Rashad Hill has been working with the first team left tackle uh, since we went out. Uh, and also Kentrell Brothers um, probably was probably the most serious of them but he had uh, good news on his MRI uh, so he should be alright. Uh, Latavius Murray has not come off of the uh, PUP list just yet uh, but stay tuned. Uh, he did say that he does expect to be back in action before the regular season starts, so I would think that sometime during the preseason, Latavius will be uh, will be activated. Uh, in the meantime, Dalvin Cook's been getting a lot of reps with the first team offense, which is really good for his development, and uh, so far he's, according to reports, uh, even since the pads came on, he's everything that they thought he would be, so uh, that's very good news for Vikings fans. Uh, we've also had good reports coming out for um, the passing game, that big day. Uh, but even though the last couple of days here, Sam Bradford has been very sharp. Um, of course, this being now is uh, having a full off season with the team, Pat Shermer's system. Uh, they're working on uh, the little things now. Um, you know, probably some more. Uh, you know, improv when you when you get that chemistry with your receivers, what you can do. Um, probably, I'm guessing they've added a few more wrinkles. I think the emphasis has been on to continue to do what they do well, but do it in a more balanced fashion. So you're probably going to see some more deep shots down the field this season. Um, and we know Sam excels that. And some guys that have been coming on strong have been Michael Floyd and Laquan Treadwell. Um, have been making some impressive catches. And, um, you know, you know what, we know what we have in uh, Diggs and Thielen, and they've they've been impressive as well. Uh, but uh, Floyd has made some outstanding acrobatic catches in practice, and uh, Laquan Treadwell has taken a major step forward. Um, he's looked good from what I've seen on the fade routes, uh, on the intermediate routes. So he's he's doing a better job of getting open. I think he's fully healthy now, and it's definitely showing. So uh, the Vikings have a very formidable receiving group, from what I can see here. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and you know, don't forget about Jarius Wright. He, he continues to show that he has the ability to make plays as well, and that's been uh, coming through in camp thus far. Uh, some of the position battles that we have going on... Um, Emmanuel Lemur and Edmund Robinson have been switching um, 
out with first and second team at weak side linebacker. Um, Zimmer also said that Ben Gideon is in the mix as well. Uh, so it looks like those are your front runners there for the weak side linebacker position. Uh, Zimmer did stress though that we've got to see it in, in the preseason games before we really start declaring who's winning the battles and whatnot and see who, who performs well in game situations. Uh, and I think that's especially true for special teams when uh, when the lights come on. Uh, you know, a, a big battle there is going on between Kai Forbath and Marshall Kane for the kicker spot, Ryan Quigley and uh, Simank for at punter. And the Vikings are trying a lot of different guys at kick returner. Uh, Rodney Adams, Marcus Sherrills, Stacy Coley, Moritz Boringer have, have all taken reps. Uh, Jarek McKinnon um, is going to be starting to take some reps there as well. So that uh, is definitely far from being decided yet. Uh, under tackle, it looks like Tom Johnson is having a good camp. Um, he's recovered uh, from the nagging um, injury problems that he had last season, but he's having a strong camp. Um, Dayton Jones is getting looks there as well. Um, Shamar Stefan. Um, <clears throat> haven't heard too much from Julio Johnson. Um, Will Sutton has been sort of up and down, but um, definitely uh, Tom Johnson and Dayton Jones have um, have been <clears throat> getting some good reports thus far. And, you know, Tom Johnson's been in the system with Everson Griffin and Daniel Hunter and Brian Robinson, Lindvald Joseph. I think those guys really have a synergy going, and I think it's going to be the guys that play best together out on the field are going to be out there. Um, but the Vikings do have quality depth on the defensive line, and that's where your pass rush um, really, that's where it all begins on defense is up front. So, uh, you know, stopping the run and then getting getting the opponent into uh, third and undesirable. <clears throat> so where your pass rushers can, can just pin their ears back. Um, as far as the cornerback spot, um, Trey Waynes, Terrence Newman, and Mackenzie Alexander, along with Xavier Rhodes, those are your top four guys. Now, in the base defense, it's been Rhodes and Waynes getting the majority of reps with the ones. And then in the nickel, uh, Waynes has come off the field. Newman goes outside corner, and they've been trying Alexander at nickel. And they're trying to see if Alexander can handle the nickel. So far, he's done a good job. Um, if they're not comfortable with it, they can always go to Newman there. Uh, but so far, uh, the reports are that Mac Alexander has looked good thus far, and uh, they're just going to rotate uh, the outside cornerbacks opposite Xavier Rhodes to keep him fresh. Uh, so that could be the plan going in there at the nickel corner spot. Um, <clears throat> as far as the center position goes, they've been rotating between Pat Elfline and Nick Easton, um, both getting reps with the ones and twos. Uh, that should be a battle that uh, that goes down to the wire. I'm going to put my money on Alfine, um, especially if it's close, because you know he is a, he's a high draft pick, and um, you know he's got an awful lot of a uh, potential to uh, <clears throat> to be a really good football player. So um, supposedly he's getting more more and more comfortable and making good progress. So um, I would expect him to probably overtake Easton for the job by the time we're done here with the preseason. Um, Laquan Treadwell and Michael Floyd are, are uh, really uh, having an intense battle for the third receiver spot. Um, <clears throat> I think both of these guys are going to be used in a similar way. Uh, they're going to be that that big physical target in the red zone. Um, and that Floyd, he's also got some deep speed to him. Uh, but that should be interesting. These guys are really pushing each other. Uh, Floyd's getting more comfortable in the system. He's making great catches out there. Uh, and, you know, he's a proven veteran. We know what he can do. And the Quan Shredwell is really making a jump 
getting uh, getting his hands on those fade routes uh, that I've seen in, in the in the practices looking really good. Uh, so that I, I see the Vikings have, having a really strong unit there. Um, <clears throat> and of course, you know, we've touched on Sam Bradford is looking sharp and comfortable in, uh, in camp. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater still rehabbing. No timeline on that. Uh, but he is on the PUP and uh, I would expect that that's where he's going to remain through uh, the preseason. I, I haven't really heard any, anything that would make me think otherwise. Uh, Case Keenum and Taylor Heineke are battling. Uh, I think now Lunt, Wes Lunt was cut uh, the fourth quarterback. So I think you're going to have these three guys. It's going to be Bradford, Keenum, and Heineke. Uh, Keenum, in his last practice, uh, finally came on to where he might have put some distance between himself and Heineke uh, with some really good throws. He had been inconsistent before that, but um, I think as he uh, gets more comfortable with the offense and teammates, I think that uh, I think his his veteran uh, skills are, are starting to show where he knows uh, you know <clears throat> what to do in pre-snap, and I think that's going to help his confidence in the way he plays. Uh, but he's made some nice throws out there. Keenum's got a live arm. I uh, definitely think he's an upgrade from Sean Hill at the backup quarterback spot. So. Um, doing good things there, and, and Taylor Heineke is, is finally getting a chance to show what he's got after missing um, the last camp. Um, you know, from that that uh, unfortunate incident that he was involved in, where he got himself hurt. But um, <clears throat> he has definitely uh, come on and uh, started to show some of his skills, some of his uh, mobility and the ability to throw on the run. Um, have shined through thus far, so uh, definitely the Vikings are, are right right in the thick of things here with the with the getting the, the training camp and the pads are coming on, so it's it's definitely starting to get real here, and we are only 10 days away from the first preseason game here when the Vikings take on the Bills, so uh, <clears throat> definitely getting ready and getting excited for the, uh, the upcoming season. Uh, do check out our uh, our polls on Twitter. We're going to do some more polls again now that we've now that we're into training camp. We're going to do some of the same uh, polls for the position battles uh, since the pads are coming on. Maybe we'll see a, a different perspective there. We've got one right now. Where who is going to be the uh, running back number one, the starting running back? Of course, I think we know that uh, all of these guys are going to touch the ball. Um, it's going to be at least a two two back system or three back system. Um, and my guess is I think Latavius Murray is going to be the guy that they go to around the goal line. Uh, Dalvin Cook's going to be, uh, if, if I had to guess, the guy between the 20s for the most part. But uh, Cook has definitely taken advantage of getting the reps in the absence of Murray and uh, even in some of the absence of McKinnon uh, where he, is, uh, he had a hamstring issue uh, that kept him out. But... Um, <clears throat> Definitely, I think, uh, for, of all the depth of the Vikings, have added to the position, it's going to be a strong suit for them this season. And uh, well, that's all I've got for right now. Um, catch us on the next episode, and we'll see you then.